when you're when you're with your family and your children are asking you to play they're asking you for your time and your engagement in their world and they want you to be part of their world and there's no higher honor there's no higher honor and that same applies to when you're in a relationship that same thing applies and I was thinking about writing this this book like you know, how the, the secrets of dating, you know, and all that. But really, what it really is, is just the secret is just being engaged in a playful type of activity. If you do that, you're going to have more fun. You're going to get to know each other. You're going to learn whether you're the right play type. You're going to learn what type of player you are, what type of player that person is. It's powerful. And, and sometimes, you know, I might be an object play person where you might be an imaginative play person and we may not be matched up right together. But if we're both object play people and we're having fun together, all of a sudden this magic occurs and the relationship gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So if you love to play, we like to say that you should play to love. And it's based on relationships and how play is an integral part of um, really improving one's relationship with their mate or whoever their partner is.